Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Ruto suffers a blow as court rules against him in this matter, giving LSK, Law Society of Kenya, round one win. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're a visitor for the first time and you have not subscribed to this channel, please do me a favor, ensure that to subscribe to this channel, you put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, create more fight. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to appreciate you so much. Please consider liking this video. Now, Lady Justice Monica Mbaru ruled on Friday, November 25th, against the Public Service Commission and the Attorney General's preliminary objection to the Employment and Labor Relations court's jurisdiction stating that the employment and labor relations court does have jurisdiction to hear of course the petition ladies and gentlemen the public service commission that is pac and the attorney general requested that the case be dismissed so that CASS, that is Chief Administrative Secretary, could be recruited to serve in President Ruto's administration. What we are learning is that the court is still pressing a hard button on William Samaruto's appointment towards this Chief Administrative um, secretaries that is cas according to of course the respondents the high court has the authority to determine the legality of president william ruto's actions in establishing the office of the chief administrative secretary under article 165 3 of the constitution and this is whatever, uh, of course, um, um, court is saying that the establishment of the office of chief administrative secretary pursuant to Article 132.4 of the Constitution as read with Section 30 of the Public Service Commission Act 207 as impaired in the instant petition of course does not fall within the ambits of this court jurisdiction as outlined in section 12 of the ELR elrc act as read with article 162 2 of the constitution the ruling stated and that is what of course was given by the court in the in a decision of Justin uh, Justice Mbaru affirmed that the Employment and Labor Relation Court has jurisdiction over matters such as the one before, and of course this is whatever they also said that the process of establishing the CS office is being challenged, and the petitioner is presenting his case to appropriate forum yes as a result the second respondents objections with the concurrence of the first respondent are found to be without merit and are dismissed read of course that is what we have been told the attorney general that is um, uh, attorney general that is um, Turi, has come out also to request that the case that was uh, presented in the court to block William Ruto's administration not to appoint the CESS now has been dismissed. Where court has decided that they are going to listen to that case. Yes, they are going to listen to that case. And listening to that case, they want to look at almost uh, uh, two reasons. Number one reason, does the constitution 
uh, allow William Ruto as the president of the Republic of Kenya to create the office of CASS. And what is their merits? And that is what court is looking towards. Number two, the petitioner complained that, of course, the, um, the, 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 the office was going to affect was going to affect Kenyans who are paying taxes. And of course, the Law Society of Kenya had filed a court challenge to establish of establishment of CASS position. And this was that they were claiming that the process lacked proper public participation and that it is its existence would put the country in financial jeopardy. That is what we are being told. Then LSK's petition case tears the com commission for failing to provide members of the public with adequate information to assist them in making critical assessment of the need to expand the cabinet beyond cabinet secretaries and PESs. And that is whatever the clarification that LSK wants. Number two, also the same same LSK took William Ruto in the court. Why? Because of the permanent secretaries. Number one, they were complaining that these permanent secretaries was so biased. Why? Because the number that was represented was 51. Then the final list, we are finding it is 52. There was addition of one. Number two, is that there was this appointment did not meet the constitution threshold and also this was not in accordance to what was expected across all tribes in the republic of kenya you find other tribes are benefiting more, more than other tribes and that is what else lsk law society of kenya took william ruto's government and they stopped the vetting of this permanent secretaries. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think William Ruto is learning a major blows where the permanent secretaries has, uh, has been stopped and also the appointment of um, uh, CASS has been stopped. So, ladies and gentlemen, what are your opinion towards Law Society of Kenya representing Kenyans to question these actions of the President William you can give your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much. Bye-bye.